Hello everyone, Tony Walsh here. Welcome back to the channel. Today's going to be a cooking video, but I'm out here at our raised bed showing you what we're going to be cooking. And that is eggplants. And these are mini eggplants. Uh, this one's not quite ready. Obviously, this one right here is not. But we do have two that are ready. And just for comparison, as I said, these are mini eggplants. If I can get them out of the basket. You know, here, here it is in, in my hand. So for size comparison, that's what we're using. And what are we what are we using them for? We are making, and I hate to say it this way, eggplant bacon. Now, if you've seen me, I'm a red meat eater. I love my red meat. I, I love meat, period, for the most part. Pork, beef, love it. So to say eggplant bacon makes my soul cringe. But let's get to the kitchen. Okay, everyone, we're back in the kitchen, and you see we have everything that we need on the, the island right there. So let me go through with what we got. Of course, we got uh, our eggplant, uh, and this recipe calls for at least a pound. So this is actually a pound point four eight six, so it's a little over a pound because we're going to double the recipe of the marinade, uh, and that is a pound point four with the ends still on. So we got to cut them off, of course. And we got our large bowl that we marinate the eggplant in. Uh, the recipe calls for regular or applewood smoked grilling salt, but we don't have any, so we're just using sea salt today. Then we have balsamic vinegar, olive oil, using Cracker Barrel maple syrup. And I don't like maple syrup. One day I'm going to try this with sugarcane syrup. Then we have paprika, uh, then our other utensils we need. Have the full star mandolin. This one comes with 2 millimeter and 5 millimeter cut, cut settings, so we're using 2 millimeter today. Then, of course, we're going to dehydrate on our uh, Mossy Oak Weston Gamekeeper Dehydrator. And then we're also using a Ninja, what's this thing called? Food processor? It's a blender. blender. A blender. So a Ninja blender. And when I weighed the eggplants, you can see this scale is made by Vaughn. If you go to the video description, you can get a discount uh, from Vaunt if you, if you use uh, the code out there. And last but not least, we have the recipe right here. And uh, I will put it in the video description so you don't have to try to read this and all that. I'll, I'll type it out for you. So let's get this uh, maneuvered around and let's get to cutting some eggplant. Now you don't have to use mini eggplants for this. You can use full size eggplants. The only reason we use minis, well, two reasons. One, that's the seed we had, but then the other one for this recipe, what works out good, it fits perfectly in the mandolin. If you had a large one that didn't fit within this border, you would have to cut it in half, uh, top to bottom, and then slice it that way. But because we're using minis, we don't have to do that. You got to cut a side off to get started yep so we're cutting the ends off and in, in that one side <clears throat> those will go to the chickens or, or the pigs and one thing when you're dehydrating these that edge that was cut off don't dehydrate that because it, it won't turn out right for the recipe so that just gets chunked to the side as well as far as the skin for the rest of it that dehydrates perfectly and holds the bacon slices together so you see jackie's putting on a cutting glove and you know that's just for safety anytime you're using something sharp you do not want to cut your digits there so i'm just going to speed this process up That one has uh, proven a little bit difficult to cut, and we're thinking we let it get a little bit too big because the recipe we had before, the eggplant that we, or not the recipe we had before, the eggplant we had before didn't have this much seed in it. So 
we may have let these mini eggplants get a little bit too big because that's life. Uh, you know, sometimes we can't do what we want to do in the garden and in the kitchen because life gets in the way. So we're going to have to get a lot of these seeds out or they'll be in the, the final product. Okay, so Jackie's got the marinade all mixed up. And again, that's going to be in the description. Um, and she mixed it all up in the blender. So didn't figure y'all needed to see that. So just mix all the ingredients in the blender except for the, the salt. Uh, that stays to the side. So you can see she's just dipping the eggplant there. And we have washed most of the seeds off of it. Uh, so that, that's a lesson learned for us. Don't, don't let your eggplant get, get too old. So you can see she's just coating both sides of it there. <coughs> and we'll actually end up marinating this for a total of how many hours? Two, you can marinate two to four hours. Okay, so it'll stay in the marinade for two to four hours. In the in refrigerator. The, correct, in the refrigerator, covered up with saran wrap. And that is one thing you do not want to do is short yourself on the marinade. Because that, that's just what makes the, for me, not really caring for eggplant, that's what really uh, helps me be able to eat it, I guess, because of the marinade. So don't short yourself there. Okay, you can see she's got uh, all the eggplant bacon now. It's all in the marinade. And even with that, we're a little bit short because we just like it to marinate good. But make sure both sides are coated well. Okay, you see the, the eggplant in the marinade is covered up with saran wrap. And it's going to go in the refrigerator for two hours. And then I'll bring you back. Okay, so the eggplant bacon has been in the refrigerator for a little over two hours, and you can see they've marinated and soaked up some of that, that juice. So now it's time to put them on the dehydrator, and we have a four-tray dehydrator. But because this marinade is going to drip off, we're putting the solid bottom on the bottom tray and are not going to use it. So we're just going to use the three trays. And, and load them up. So I'm going to time lapse this for your sake and let Jackie get it loaded up. Okay, you can see we got the dehydrator loaded up. Uh, Jackie's putting the sea salt on it now because one, that's just what we have and we like sea salt, but that's where you can use any kind of salt flavor that you like. That's one of the things with this recipe you can change. And you can see <coughs> that we have a few pieces left over. And there is a way to do these in the oven, uh, but I don't have it wrote on uh, our recipe, so I'll have to go research that. And I'll put how to do these in the oven in the description, but then we'll compare both of them at the end. So we're going to get the top on this, and it goes for 115 degrees for 12 hours. Uh, the recipe or the instructions say 12 to 18 hours, but we've already done these one time, and 12 hours worked for us. So we're going to get it set for 12 hours, and then we'll bring you back. Okay, here's the few pieces we had left over in the, uh, from the marinade. So we put these in the oven, and these have been in the oven for nine hours because our oven, the lowest temperature is 170, so where the dehydrator is set at 115. So these in the oven, whatever your lowest temperature is, you're just going to have to watch it. So for us, it was 170, eight hours. We flipped them uh, during the 
sometime during the eight hour period, but I don't remember what we flipped them. And I don't know if you can hear this pop like bacon. Here, snap. So it's crunchy, just like bacon. Again, the biggest thing, I'm not a big eggplant eater, and I really don't care for maple syrup either, but these are fairly tasty. Okay, it's 12 hours later. You can see the eggplant uh, has been dehydrated. Uh, looks just like uh, vegetarian bacon. So over here we've got our bread, lettuce, tomatoes with pepper. We didn't put any salt on here because remember the eggplant bacon has salt. So you get the camera set down and Jackie's fixing to fix us a sandwich. I'm just going to take this piece right here see if you can hear to see if you can hear it crunch it crunches a little bit but not as much that that's in the oven is actually a little bit drier and crunchier than this oh, and those are still a little <coughs> excuse me a little damp because of the marinade out of the dehydrator so if it's a little bit too oily you can just pat it with a paper towel to uh, get some of the excess marinade off so let me get my sandwich and turn the camera around so i have my sandwich let's see what it see what it tastes like and what it sounds like to you so you can hear the crunch Honestly, I don't even taste the eggplant because of the tomato and the lettuce. Do you? Mm -mm. Okay, well. So what got me to thinking about this, or who got me to thinking about this, is one of my YouTube subscribers. Her name is Dee. Or her name is Denise. And her channel is Dee Diets Preps and More. Excuse me. And she is on a plant-based journey. So very little meat to no meat, <clears throat> a lot of plant-based food. You know, last year when I grew beets, I started eating beet leaves with my bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich. So this year I substituted real bacon with eggplant bacon, just trying to lead a healthier lifestyle, but by no means am I admitting to you that I'm giving up real bacon. Uh, I am a meat guy. So I'm going to stay with my regular bacon. But don't hesitate. If you have eggplants and you have a dehydrator, don't hesitate to try making some eggplant bacon. And if you want to know more about a plant-based journey lifestyle, go check out D's Diets, D Diets Preps and More. And I'll leave a link uh, in the description to her channel. So D, I hope you give this a try and that you'll like it. So that's the end of this video. Y'all take care and God bless.